I'm Kristen Hintermeyer with Bobcat Company. Yeah, my name's Rob Gillis. I'm a marketing manager with Bobcat Company out of Fargo, North Dakota. I'm the one that you're going to be talking to here on Facebook. We're out here today on my um, at my house, actually, and I have a few acres, right around 15 acres of land. He's planting trees here today. I have 14 trees uh, that I want to put into the ground today. Figured what better way to do it than to bring out some bobcat equipment to help me out. So uh, we turned it into a photo shoot. I thought what better way to let you guys have kind of a sneak peek of what goes on at a photo shoot. So you're going to see what equipment to use, uh, what attachments. And I have a bunch of people out here to help me plant my trees today. So it works, uh, works pretty nicely when you can do that. Work with pleasure. So. Hopefully you enjoy what you see today. We're putting 14 trees into the ground and to dig them by hand would have been, it'd take me all week uh, since we're putting in pretty good sized trees. And that brought out several different pieces of equipment because we have several different sized trees to plant. Different equipment and different attachments are better suited for different sized trees. Uh, if you're planting really, really big trees, an excavator is about the only way to do it to get a big enough hole. Don't be intimidated by this. They're really easy to run. And you don't need one near this size to do this type of work. I planted a lot of trees out here with the 418, which is a really small, compact excavator that can be pulled behind a, a, a normal SUV. Uh, most of the rental shops rent them. It's going to have a smaller bucket and take a little bit longer to dig, but still way faster than digging it with a shovel. Uh, if it's a medium-sized tree, you can you can get a pretty good size hole with a with an auger. Look at the dirt I end up with at the end. It's nice and pulverized, good backfill dirt. If you were to shovel it by hand, you end up with clumps. Like every shovel load is a clump, and you can't put that back in the hole. It's... And then if you just have a quick plant or even a transplant, uh, the digger, Bobcat digger, works really well. Um, a lot of people probably don't even know that we have a digger, and so. Uh, we needed footage of that and so we brought that out today. We're here on site with the Bobcat A770 skidster loader and an auger attachment. Imagine and... digging these holes by hand versus digging them with an auger. Right, such a stopwatch. Here right. Goes. Today we're going to be digging four holes for some trees that our marketing manager Rob Gillis wants to plant here at his house. Maybe you could even say I'm betting that he can turn a, a, a four hour job into less than five minutes. Imagine you have four holes to dig at your house. How long would it take you? 45 minutes per hole, uh, up to four hours of work. My challenge to him is see if he can do it in under five minutes. Let's see what he can do. Put that side pile there. <laughs> 